uh, judge with us here to discuss it. The judge hosts some justice, and I think they're just humiliating themselves. Imagine if this was a Tea Party, and the Tea Party was protesting an Obama nominee for Attorney General, carrying on screaming, getting arrested. But you see, that's, that's the new America, where the left that is supposedly so inclusive of everyone, that, you know, this big tent where we accept everyone irrespective of what they look like, if you're uh, white and Republican and believe in Donald Trump, we don't accept you. Even worse, and, he's from Alabama. Yeah, and Even and from this Alabama. Triple strike. Long high road. That's right. Uh, also, Elizabeth Warren, who we know is running for president, grilled our friend Ben Carson, who's going to probably be the HUD secretary, roll the tape. My concern is whether or not among the billions of dollars that you will be responsible for handing out in grants and loans, can you just assure us that not one dollar will go to benefit either the president-elect or his family? It will not be my intention to do anything I, to, to benefit any any American. I understand that. It's for all Americans, but everything me, that we do. So Senator Warren is accusing them of rigging this scheme to enrich Donald Trump through HUD grants, which is like the dumbest way to make Trump rich. Well, first of all, the Trumps are not in government to make money, unlike the Clintons. Right. And the second point is, you know, they, the Donald Trump has divested himself of his corporation. His sons are now basically hands off anything international. Donald Trump has indicated that he is, whenever foreign com countries are involved, in his hotels. He's going to give the money to the American people. He's not in this to make money. He's <laughs> losing money. That's right. I can't believe Elizabeth Warren, but she's going to do I this for can. the next four years because we know she's going to run. Also, we have uh, Pompeo, a uh, Republican congressman. He's trying to be the CIA director. Here's some crazy questions thrown at him by Kamala Harris, senator from California. Take a look. CIA analysts look for deeper causes of rising instability in the world. One of the causes those CIA analysts see as the, is the impact of climate change. Do you have any reason to doubt the assessment of these CIA analysts? Uh, Senator Harris, I haven't had a chance to, to read those materials with respect to uh, climate change. I do know the agency's role there. Uh, its role is to collect foreign intelligence. So you have a Democratic senator from California asking the incoming CIA director his opinion on climate change. This is why they lost the election, I think. Well, it's not only that. It's like the impact of climate change on what is going on in the world, like, uh, as it relates to... To what? To, yeah, to what? what to uh, ISIS? ISIS. Or, are, are they angry because they're hot in the desert? Or, Isn't it always hot you in know, the desert? You know, but that's what it's about for them. It's, yeah. it's about everything other than what is really going on in the world. It's a distraction. These people are from another planet. I mean, clearly. I Sometimes well, I think California is another planet. I think that's why they they call it the People's Republic of California. Indeed. Um, so we have Mattis, uh, who's going to be the defense secretary, and uh, he gets grilled by Senator Gillibrand out of New York. Listen to this. Do you believe that uh, openly serving homosexuals along with women in combat units is undermining our force? Senator, my belief is that we have to stay focused on a military that's so lethal that on the battlefield it will be the enemy's longest day and their worst day when they run into that force. Perfect answer. Perfect answer, because he didn't even address her question. Right. He basically said, look, we're there to kill him, we're going to do it, and I don't want to deal with your namby-pamby baloney questions, period. It's so funny, you have ISIS kind of hatching plots across different continents. People are dying in the streets in Europe, and she cares about women and homosexuals serving openly in the front lines. And by the way, she voted against the waiver for him. And that's oh, what's yeah. so incredible. I'm not going to approve the waiver because he never answered my question about homosexuality. Now, they're really? looking for any reason in order to knock these guys down. That's it's absolutely sad. ridiculous. It really um, these guys are going to breeze through, right? They're all going to breeze through. I mean, you know, and, and right now what you've got is a president-elect who hasn't even gotten there, who's moving quickly, getting jobs, got his agenda focused, America will never be in better hands. And their heads are spinning because they don't know what to do. Thank you very much, Judge. My pleasure. Just a reminder, Justice airs at 9 p.m. each Saturday night. But up next, Waters World got high up in the mountains.